Welcome, Gemini and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition, bringing you a general love reading for April 20th through the 26th of 2020. But please always keep in mind time is fluid. So whenever you view this, it could be a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, please try checking your other placements as well. You can always find additional messages and information there. There are always timestamps in the description box if you guys want to skip straight to the reading itself. I know some of you love the shuffling, some of you not so much. It can take me a few minutes, so bear with me if you are still here. You may be noticing these adorable little candles here. Those are from my good friend Alchemia Moon here on YouTube. She has an Etsy shop and she makes these gorgeous little hand poured vegan candles. They're so cute. They start at only $8. She did give me a coupon code to use for you guys. 20% off $15 or more using code Sunflower. Her links and stuff is in the description box, okay? All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. What needs to come through in love and in life for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Wow, okay. Believe in the impossible. Ooh, some kind of change. It's got me really excited for some reason. Hold your vision. Ooh. Ooh, I've got goosebumps. Something's about to happen here, guys. I don't know what this is, but it feels good. It feels, the energy feels good. Maybe something you kind of gave up hope on or something. If you didn't feel like things were going to change, but something, I've got goosebumps. Like, I don't know if you can even tell. Like, it, it feels good, guys. I don't know what this is. I got a good, good vibe going on here. Something... Like, something's majorly about the shift for you guys. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And love and life, please. Communicate clearly. Have an honest conversation. Have an open conversation. An opportunity. You may get the chance to speak your truth. That's what I want to say. Someone may be open the door for a very honest, emotional conversation. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Gemini, your energy at the top, your person's at the bottom. It can be just reversed. All right, Gemini, please. In love and in life, what is the truth? What is the messages for our Geminis, please? All right, Gemini's thoughts, feelings, and intentions, please. Three of Cups. Ooh. Okay, so you're waiting. Ooh, ooh, this is good. This is good. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. What is Gemini's person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions, please? <laughs> well, they've got something to say. Okay. And their feelings about Gemini, please. Oh, wow. Five of Cups in the reverse. Knight of Swords. Oh, yes. Beautiful energy. Three of Pentacles working together. You could work with this person or they just want to build something with you. All right. So, guys, what I'm seeing here, this person, you and this person are kind of back together. I don't know if they're separated right now. Um, but the two of you are going to try to come together. You've been waiting for this person. This person's your wish. And they're, they're going to want to make things right with you. You both want this. This person has been very closed off with their emotions. But they're about to have a very honest conversation about how they feel about you. Five of Cups in their verse. They've been missing you, but they don't want to miss you anymore. They want to come in here kind of unexpectedly. Nine of Pentacles. They're making a serious offer or something. And they definitely want to they definitely want to communicate. They definitely want to tell you how they're feeling. You kind of felt like all hope was lost. This person was never going to open their heart to you but here it comes oh my god i'm getting really excited about this okay for gemini oh, that's the bell okay seduction so it could be a workplace situation here with the seduction card lightning are you kidding me <laughs> that's too many cards <laughs> not today okay so you could be leaving something else in the past, making a decision here. The Grim Reaper, something is over. No second chances. You're leaving something behind. Or they are, okay? Somebody here has left a relationship in the past. Ooh, okay. All right, so starting here with your energy, Gemini, we have the Two of Wands. 
So thinking, future planning, looking out over the horizon, dreaming of your future, trying to see clearly in the situation, holding the universe in your hand, holding the world in your hand, holding that crystal ball, trying to get clear. This can even be a card of divination, you know, um, fortune telling, stuff like that. Trying to see the future, trying to see what's going to happen if you choose a particular direction. Really look ahead, okay? Because you want to come together with this person you want to celebrate. Maybe you're thinking, maybe you, maybe you're, ex some of you are expecting a marriage proposal. That's just for some of you, but something's come two people are coming together maybe they're going to invite you to dinner or something or outside of work out with friends like this person they want to come together with you they want to celebrate they want to get to know you more in a more intimate setting they want to have some fun with you i definitely get that with this nine of cups next to that i mean i can literally see like you're waiting for the invitation and they're saying listen we're all going after work to get some drinks get something to eat do you want to come with and next thing you know you guys are talking on the couch you can't stop laughing and communicating getting really close things are really good people you're he's open this person i want to say he this person's kind of opening up emotionally to you telling you more about how they're feeling about you i'm going to read the signs that i see here guys but please keep in mind we have more than just your sun sign to take into account so if you don't hear your person's sun sign um you can also check their uh, moon rising and venus signs sometimes those will come through more heavily especially in love readings um so the the cards that i'm seeing here i'm seeing uh water energy cancer scorpio pisces okay i'm seeing um ooh, a lot of water the knight of pentacles um so earth taurus virgo capricorn strong cancerian energy gemini virgo energy libra energy we also have gemini libra aquarius with this knight of swords all right but could be any sign okay so the energy here, this person, they want to take you out. They want to do something with you. You want to, to you've been waiting for this. Some kind of balance. You could, you definitely could work with this person or go to school with this person. Or that someone here could have been in a marriage or commitment. But it's like making things right. Finally being able to have fun. Maybe you weren't able to have fun for a long time. But now things are changing. Like I'm definitely seeing you like getting dressed up and going out. Like I see you and this person really taking it to the next level. Uh, definitely could be travel involved here. Strong Cancerian Libra energy here. Um, it's like making things right, you know, it's like, finally, you're getting what you want, you've been manifesting this, you've been trying to call this in, okay, with the magician, Gemini Virgo energy, it's like, you've been waiting for this, um, finally getting what you want, it's like, you have all the tools, you have all the power, you can create, you can manifest, you can build whatever future that you want, you've been, like, visualizing this, waiting for this, this anticipation of you waiting for this has literally brought this to your doorstep, it's literally called this in, um, I think that you've been in some toxic relationships for sure. I think things are definitely changing in this situation. Um, now, there could be three people involved here because we do have the three of cups, but it doesn't have to be third parties. Again, guys, don't have to be physical people. Third parties can be people. Third parties can also be drinking, can be addictions, can be um, ego or pride. Third parties can be working too much. A third party is anything that separates you and this person. What comes between your relationship together? If you guys work together and you're not supposed to date, that's third party. If you guys go to school together and like they're your professor, well, that's, that's an issue. That's an obstacle for you. That makes that a third party. Um, it's something that comes between the two of you. Third party traditionally, though, is a physical person. So for some of you, that may resonate. Um, this person has a lot of deep feelings for you. This person has a lot of emotions for you. They don't really talk about it. They definitely keep their feelings very hidden from you. Um, they hold a lot back. Uh, King of Cups is someone who's very loving, very compassionate, uh, comforting, protecting. But he just has, his love language is different. The King of Cups, male or female, doesn't matter. The King of Cups is somebody whose love language is more to show you by acts of service or buying you gifts or spending time with you, okay? not so much physical words he feels like his energy is alone is enough to tell you how he feels about you he wants to show you how he feels about you uh over communicating it okay the four of cups it's like this person's very disappointed they want more it's like they want to be able to open up to you but maybe they're a little bit prideful in some ways they're afraid to open up and be vulnerable to be weak around you um this person they definitely have the intention here because they're thinking about how they feel they're thinking about how they feel in regards to you and how they're how emotional they that you make them they feel very disappointed in the situation because they want to go out with you so what this person's going to have to do in order to ask you out is they're going to have to step out of their comfort zone so what they're desiring to do here because they're greatly missing you and they don't want to be missing you they want to go out they want to have a good time they want to see you okay outside of work or outside of the environment that you're in they want more with you they want more of like a dating relationship they want to see you in a different setting okay than what you are now if it's through text or email if it is work if it's school if it's whatever the case they want to see you in a different environment okay they want to take you out 
they want to open their heart to you. They want to tell you how they're feeling, but they're just kind of afraid to say it. They're afraid to open up and let that out. But here they come. They are making the stable offer. They do want to build something with you. Okay, it's going to take them some time, but it's like you, it might be kind of unexpected that they're asking you to go out with them. I feel like this conversation is going to happen. Like they may offer a commitment to you, but it may take some time for them to kind of get ready to make that offer. But I do feel like they're kind of coming in here and communicating more openly towards you like they're trying to say more they're pushing themselves to say more they could have been fearful that maybe there's someone else in the picture maybe you would choose someone else's cup over theirs um but it's like they're deciding or can be flipped or reversed guys this is a general read but they definitely want to work together with you they definitely um, have some crazy intense feelings they want to make things happen there's some kind of obstacle or challenge right now scorpio energy between the two of you they want to travel to see you but there is like an obstacle something that has to be overcome right now they're in a period of waiting for the situation to change waiting to make their move towards you definitely want to communicate but they feel kind of disappointed because they want to reach out and say more to you they're feeling left out in the cold right now this opportunity is going to come back around it's not the right time as of yet okay give it some time but this person's building up their courage to say something to you they want to communicate clearly they want to they want to understand how you're feeling about them and vice versa not today so um not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call person still angry still angry in boundaries i feel like this person maybe they've got to have a bad relationship or you have and it's like it's not the right time as of yet it's going to take somebody some time to do some healing to kind of build up their confidence if this person was in a bad relationship their ego, their pride, it's all very badly bruised. They're so afraid to be vulnerable with their heart on the line. This could have started as like an office romance, like a lot of flirty text messages and stuff like that, or eye contact, that kind of thing. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. You definitely could work with this person for some of you. But it was very sudden, it was very unexpected. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So things are definitely. It's, it's, it's like that time moment. It's like, bam, this person just like realizing I'm not really ready to put my heart on the line just yet, but because I've been hurt a lot, I'm scared to put my heart out there. I've been hurt a lot, but it's like I can't fight these feelings anymore and I want to communicate to Gemini or vice versa. Self -indul indulgence, so focus on self, self worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self appreciation. This person has very low self esteem, and I think that may be um, kind of surprising to you. We have keys on a ring, so many options, decision, unconventional, stringing along, one night stand. We have the Grim Reaper. So the relationship is over, no second chances, growth, and transforming your life. Some of you, this person, you know, maybe they were led on a lot in the past, maybe they were cheated on, maybe this person, or you have been. Somebody's ending that kind of situation. They're blocking that out of their life. They're leaving that in the past. Maybe someone here thought they were never going to love this openly, never going to feel this way about anybody, but it's like now they're realizing, you know, this is what I've been searching for. Hold your vision. That person is there. The person that you've been dreaming of, waiting for, wishing for, the person you've been manifesting, they're coming into your life, okay? This person that worked through your fears, they're going to try to build up their confidence, their self-esteem. Somebody here is very hurt from past situations and it was very shocking for them to fall in love and you know start to have these deep feelings so quickly for someone because there's someone who's very guarded emotionally very guarded with how they feel but i do see this person building up their confidence and making a move towards you all right i do see a very honest conversation happening here and i do see it over time uh, progressing to somebody wanting to offer a higher level of commitment they want to build something here someone who does want something serious all right, Gemini, this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.